go. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ed Savage bringing you guys a quick video. So, I just want to update you guys on the yellow head gecko. There go my mail right there. You guys are doing great. I just missed it tank down every other day because you guys are a dry climate type of gecko. They prefer their uh, environment to be on the drier side. So, I try not to miss this tank so often. Every other day is good. Give them a light little spray. They do got water just where they can drink out of it, but I spray it down here and there to help give them a little uh, moisture in there where they can lick the little water off the plants that they choose. But on that, man, you guys are doing good. And the Emerald Swiss, man, I don't know if you guys can see, but that few babies up there, I remember I told you I had about three or four of them at the time. Now we're sitting at seven, and you guys just keep giving birth. So eventually I'm going to have to take these babies out, put them in another terrarium, and grow these guys out and rehome these guys. Probably not gonna sell them for much. Probably like ten, fifteen dollars. Probably can probably can get more than that. But I'm just gonna use it as a donation and put it back into my business. But other than that, I might just give you guys a way to a good homes. I'm not breeding. I'm not in this for the money, trying to breed and make money off my reptile. You know, I'm just doing something. This is passion, son. I'm doing like the leopard geckos. I'm not trying to go that far with you know just breeding for my own pleasure because it's exciting when you work so hard to grow out your own animals and then you produce and you get your own babies. From your hard work, you know, I'm about to be 29 tomorrow, and I've been doing this since I was 12. I started with rabbits and little stuff, but uh, other than that, man, I did want to upgrade, up, update you guys on the uh, eggs. The eggs are fertile. Let me lift it up a little bit for you guys to see. The eggs are fertile, so the best way to find out the eggs are fertile or not, if you put the light up against them, you will see a red vein or a red circle indicating that the eggs are fertile. If you put a light up against it and it's just glowing yellow, that egg is infertile. So, it's, I mean, you can incubate it if you want to try because sometimes you might get an egg that's not showing any veins at that particular time that you check. And it might take a couple of days for it to show up. But other than that, Pepper should be laying some more eggs in the next few weeks for me. Uh, dream, man. She hasn't laid any eggs yet. I'm not understanding why. Cause geckos can't be pregnant anywhere between 16 and 22 days. And I'm pretty sure it done hit that time frame to the point where she should be laying eggs soon. She's still lazy. She sit up under her heat mat all day and she haven't been eating. So I don't know if she getting ready to lay, birth, lay her eggs or not, but hopefully soon. Because other than that, I might have to reintroduce her to uh, Beast Boy. But yeah, man, I just want to update you guys on everything that's going on so far. But the Emerald Swift, the Yellowhead Geckos, the new, the baby gec the baby leopard geckos, all hey, all the new additions are doing great. The old crew is doing good. All my guys is getting big. Sun Kiss, Sun Kiss, and Beast Boy, man, they getting big. And they looking good. But I'm gonna do a, a free shirt update on all the uh, leopard geckos, all the OG leopard geckos, probably sometime next week. But other than that, man, it's your boy Ed Savage, and I'm out. And stay locked in because you're rocking with the gang.